Hi, I'm Carrie Furrow. I'm a fellow with Sarasota County Administration, and today I'm out here at the Sarasota County Extension Office with Director Lee Hayes Byron. Together, we've been working with multiple departments on a water quality story map, and today Lee Hayes is going to talk to us about that initiative. So Lee Hayes, can you first start by telling us what a water quality story map is? Sure, a water quality story map tells a story, but with a geographic focus. So in this case, we have a whole lot of projects across Sarasota County, and um, we've pulled them together in different categories to point out um, where they are, um, the status, and to provide some images and maps and explanations of what they're doing to protect water quality. So what kind of efforts are included with this story map? So to protect water quality, it really takes a comprehensive approach. And we've got a lot of those different categories of efforts. They might be big projects or small projects, might be in North County or South County. All together, they're working to protect our local waterways. And so some of the really big projects we, um, we showcase are the public utilities effort around advanced wastewater treatment. The map includes the three uh, treatment plants where that's being where that's happening. It talks about their status, where they are, and how that's going to impact water quality locally. So another really big project is um, land protection. When um, the county has protected thousands of acres of land across our community through acquisition or easements, and those are providing. Uh, ecosystem services by um, helping filter the water on site and to provide flood protection. So those were some of the big projects and you also mentioned small ones. So what small projects are included in the story map? Yeah, it's really interesting to see. We have points of multiple uh, stormwater ponds that the county has supported applying best practices to, like um, shoreline plantings and buffer zones when you're mowing. So we've got um, some really great examples of stormwater ponds. And then we've also got um, maps of where our water goats are. And water, guards are, water goats are essentially a debris management system that goes into our canals and waterways to keep litter and debris from going into our bays. That's awesome. So those are some county projects. What about individuals? What can individuals do to support water quality initiatives? Individuals and businesses play such a big role in protecting our waterways. And the way the map showcases that is it talks about what services the county provides to those individuals to help them make those choices. One example is the Florida Friendly Landscaping Program, um, which provides uh, technical assistance and um, assessments and classes so that residents and homeowners associations know what they can do to reduce inputs like fertilizer into their landscape to be more sustainable and to um, protect our environment. Um, another example is what's called the Bay Friendly Fertilizer Tool, so that people who use reclaimed water to irrigate their landscapes know how many nutrients are actually already in that reclaimed water, so they can reduce the amount of fertilizer that they're applying in addition to that. Wow, so all of this in one story map. Yeah, it, it seems like a lot, but it's really a fun, interactive way to explore some of the projects that are in place and the ways that people can get involved. And tell us, where can we find this story map? Yeah, you can just go to scgov.net slash water quality, and it'll be right there at the top, along with a lot of other information on the county's initiatives related to water quality and specific opportunities for individuals to get involved, both with Sarasota County and some partner organizations. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I personally am excited to explore the story map, and we hope that you all are excited as well. Again, you can find that at scgov.net slash water quality. And for any questions, you can call our contact center at 311.